Hey. Hey. Bala, what are you doing? We are supposed to be teaching this uh, course now. Course? D- 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 design thinking? Yeah, of course. That's why we are here to teach this uh, course on design thinking. Uh, what exactly are you doing? Uh, you know this game I'm playing uh, so that I can empathize with kids who play on this. These kids these days are playing on devices for a long time. I'm trying to empathize with them. Aha, so you're trying to design uh, a game for little kids using a design thinking philosophy. Uh, that's good, Bala. The first thing you should do is empathize with the potential users of your game. And it's really nice that you're sitting here and uh, uh, playing this game and seeing what it would be like. But that's just the first stage of the empathizing phase. Oh. Right? So what you should also do in addition to playing the game and seeing how users feel is actually go out and uh, observe some of these kids. Talk to some of them, right? get to know them better, step into their shoes so you can actually complete the first phase of design thinking, which is to empathize. Right? How does that sound? Shoes. Okay, I will do that. So, what? that is the second phase. First phase was empathize, which I lovely, uh, and I did it very well. Second is to go talk to them. Absolutely. Now, the thing so, is, this is actually a lot of fun. I'm sure it looks like you're having oh, yes, this too is much a lot fun. Of fun. Yeah, actually, so you what, what you're saying is also a lot of fun. Yeah. So, let me sort of move that away from you for a second mm. uh, so that you don't have uh, too much fun. Uh, but the thing is, if you, it, it's, you don't want to get caught in having too much fun and just continue to play these games. Mm. Right? At some point, after you've understood what the games are like and after you go and talk to people, you really move, need to move on to the next phase. Hmm. Uh, do you know what the next phase of design thinking is? Mm, looks like you're analyzing something. Absolutely. So you need to observe and you've got to take your observations and you've got to analyze them to really understand things like what makes these kids tick? What makes them play these kinds of games for long hours? Hmm. What do they really like? You know, What really turns them on? What would give them the maximum enjoyment? Right. So you really need to think about what hmm. you're seeing. Right? So you shouldn't get caught too much in playing the game which mm. i can see you're getting quite good at <laughs> judging by the score that you have on that uh, on that screen there all right that's a bit higher than my highest score on that game so i'm going to have to beat you on that right so the second phase is to analyze all right um, what do you think you do after you finish analyzing i'm sure we'll run into some problem my kid who won't allow me to play exactly right and therefore right do you have approval to play these games? No, please don't tell my kid that I played his game. I think you're going to get into a lot of trouble. Yes, yes. Right. But anyway, after you sort of analyze, right, you've got to get into a creative phase. Mm. Where you actually then start developing something. You've seen what happens. You've stepped into their shoes a little bit. Uh, you've thought through things. You've analyzed. And then you've got to come up with something. It can be tangible, physical. It can be something in the digital world. Uh, But you've got to come up with, in some ways, a solution which Mm. you think might fit the problem, Mm. right? What do you think you'll do after that, right? Are you going to sort of give them the solution and say, pam, 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 I'm done and walk away? Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Maybe I have to do something uh, to test whether they like it. Absolutely, right? So you've got to go back to these kids that you're designing the game for Mm. and you actually have to then start giving them the game and see if they will actually play with it and what their reactions are. Right? You might be lucky, you might have designed a wonderful game and they might play at it for hours and they might beat your high scores and mm. all of that. Uh, but it's also very likely that um, you, know, you will get some very good feedback on mm. the fact that maybe the graphics aren't quite the way they wanted it to be. Maybe it's a little bit too fast for them. Uh, and so essentially what you will have to do is come back to the drawing board again oh. with this new information. And I play that one more time? No, oh. not yet. Right? You design it one more time. Uh-huh. Right? This is again, you've, you've re-empathized, you analyze what you've heard, you go back, you iterate, you modify that initial prototype of the game you created, you go back. So it's just not things. one time, but many times. Many times. And the uh, more times you do it, and the okay. faster you do it, the more likely you are. Sounds to me like a game. It, do it many, many times over. Exactly. So okay. design thinking, if you do it right, can be like a game. Oh, it can yeah. be a lot of fun. But essentially, it goes through four phases. There's the empathizing phase, there is the analyzing phase, there is the solving phase, and then there is the testing phase. And you go through this a few times until you get something that 
the people who are going to use your product or your game in this case really like and really want. Um, and at that point, you might actually be able to sell your game to millions of people and become a billionaire and you know buy all of those wonderful things that you wanted. And play games. And play games. Exactly. So you can have your cake and eat it too. Right? Now, Bala, uh, it's a bit late. I've got to catch a flight because I have to go and meet the Prime Minister. Wow. Uh, I will be back shortly in a few weeks, in eight weeks to be precise. And by that time, I expect that you will have all of the lessons of this design thinking course record, right? So remember, I'm giving you an eight week deadline and it better be done by the time I get back. Eight weeks, no Ashwin. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I will record it. Don't worry, don't right. worry. Remember, eight weeks. Okay. Right.